today today's video we're gonna look at pattern overflow or expanded we look at most of our apps we have a bit being being cut off in our application screen or we have a something like expanded overflow 90 something percent or all that so uh, I'm running this application we have this issue with this uh, with this app and I'm gonna take you through how to actually solve that issue and it's pretty much very very simple so if you can look at this app you can see bottom overflowed by 76 pixels sometimes it happen at this side and sometimes it can happen at this this side as well but this is very very simple to solve this is actually the problem depending these are normally depending on the screen sizes if the screen size is big it might not show this but basically you need to make sure your ui your app ui actually is really responsible and then very flexible in order to adjust itself in in all screens so if we see this we can see that all oh, this side of the app this side of the app this side of the app is good but you can see this the bottom side of it so first let's actually make sure we debug and see which side is actually causing this error here so or uh, to be quick with this maybe let's look at this side um, let's see this side in the code okay so we are looking at this this page 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 is here okay this side is here so let me see if we uncomment that side if it's that side if you uncomment that side and it is that place you it should you should actually go up so you mean you mean this is the error is not actually here so we should look at uh, this as well mm. let's comment this row and then see whether it's actually that row that is causing it okay so as we can see is actually that row why that is not only that row but it's basically all the rows inside a column here which is causing that course it's actually overlapping and overflowing at the bottom is not able to uh, uh, actually expand itself or be able to there's no enable scroll view for it to actually sh uh, scroll other widgets down there so it's gonna cause that overlap so in order to do that you need to make sure you use the expandable widget for your project and add an expandable widget you need to also make sure okay good so looking at this side we have the expandable widget here which is actually uh, housing the row the last row is also housing another second row so the last row which i have uncommented this row as well and it's also housing this row is housing this row good so this side is actually elapsing at the bottom part so what you have to do is if you have a container without an expanded you can add expanded if the expanded still have that error you need to add what we call single uh, single child scroll view and that will actually help the entire page to be scrollable when the page or the the user interface or the screen is actually what smaller than the widget on the screen so we need to wrap this let me wrap this with a widget and uh, let me change the widget to this one single we use the single what scroll we use single child scroll view yeah this one single child scroll view and this will actually enable the page to be scrollable whenever we have a smaller screen and the bottom overflows by a certain percentage okay so i'm gonna save this and then i try to 
reload this uh, let me see I need to make sure I'm actually applying this at the right side of the page so let me check double check this this is expanded mm. expanded okay expanded we have a row here one row have a type R second row we have a third row let me look we have another column here let me see this column okay we have a column here as well let me see okay so this is actually at the at the at the body level but uh, this side should work with the scroll view added to it okay let's this rerun and let it reload Mm, yeah, because this is housing. It's housing the the favorite icon, and then it's housing one row here. It's also housing another row, and this row. Okay, so with the single scroll view, it should solve this issue for this item overflow mm. okay let me see let me see this here there's one error mm. let me take off this size button since we are using scrollable view and also I check here let me check this side do we have uh, any size box in here so we have another size box in here. Let's take this off. Okay, perfect. So if we have a scrollable view which can actually clean and make sure our page is easily scrollable, then we don't need uh, too much size boxes because they have some spaces in between them. So perfect, we have solved this error. So anytime you have this kind of error you need to look at your columns and rows if your column does not have this single child scroll view you should add that so that it will actually enable the page to be scrollable when the page is actually elapsing and you need to make sure your size boxes in there are, are well numbered or given the right height and the right width if if it's not really necessary, you need to tick all size boxes and then add the scrollable view in here and then it's going to solve the problem. Most of the time it is that, most of the time, either you use an expandable widget for your, uh, your columns and then you use the single scroll view and this will be better for you. All right, if you have any questions, you can leave it down below the comment and we're gonna get back to you as soon as possible. Peace.